Alright guys, we're going to be watching the Fancy Mouse. Uh, this is SCP-3927. SCP Animation. Uh, this is from uh, Tales from the Foundation. And they finally uploaded some new videos. And uh, yeah, tell me to react to anything else. Comment down below. And remember to comment, subscribe, and let's get into this. Why can't you leave me alone? Turn off that useless antique. Mm. Uh oh. I think I know. What Pick up SCP 3927 and take out your phone. Listen here, Dame. I know what'll happen if I do, and that ain't happening. It's just a regular mouse, D1492. Take out the phone. You're one goofy Dame. There, you go where you wanted. Now, can I please leave? Oh. oh! <laughs> So when did the strange event start? Well, it started when I got into the house. I couldn't help but turn the record player on. It, it brought back memories. This dude got killed. Damn. Then I noticed the taxidermy mouse. My great-grandma Diana had that mouse taxidermied and dolled up because she loved it so much. I gave the mouse a pat on the head. What happened after? I started noticing things happening. That night, the record player started playing the same song on loop. While I was lying in bed, I thought I heard tapping. And then the next morning, I woke up and a jar of peanut butter was knocked onto the Jeff. floor and licked clean. Did anything strange happen to other electronic devices in the house? No, ma'am. Why do you ask? I'm just checking. Please continue. Everything was ducky. I mean, fine afterwards, actually. Until I came home one day, and the mouse was gone. Did you look for it? Yes, it was in the garden sitting on the bench. I freaked out because I assumed the mouse was haunted or something. What did you do after that? I, uh, I actually called an exorcist to take a look, but he said that he doesn't sense any angry or aggressive spirits. So then I decided I was just hallucinating or going off the deep end. So you just kept your normal routine from then on. Did the mouse do anything else? Why, indeed it, uh... I mean, it appeared in my great-grandmother's room more often than any other room. It looked like it was searching for something. One time I could have sworn it blinked. What else? A few days ago, I caught it staring at an old photo of my great-grandmother hanging on the wall. I tried to take a video of it with my phone, but it up and went batty and, I mean, it got upset and attacked my hand, cracked my phone screen. After that, I called animal control. I see. Do you have any further information you would like to share? Golly, I don't know. Did I say golly? Really? Sorry. Great Grandma Diana passed away from cancer in 1931, though. And I don't think anyone else in the family had a pet mouse since then. Is my house infested? I don't think so. But we can send some people to make sure. This concludes the interview. Thank you. Damn. Following the interview, Mr. O'Malley was instructed to report any further unusual happenings to a Foundation contact. Amnestics have been deferred for the time being. Well, I think it looks cute. It's a taxidermied rat from a century ago. Think of all it's seen. Riley, you are getting off topic again. Sorry, Dr. Buck. You are in charge of 3927's containment. What is the procedure? A record player manufactured between the years of 1883 to 1927 is to play music from the same time period continuously for at least 12 hours each day. And why do we do that? Um, because... Oh, the music nullifies the anomalous effects of the SCP. That is correct. And how does it nullify it? Well, we don't know. But I think the music takes it back to a simpler time in the mouse's life. Back when, you know, it was alive. Maybe it had a little mouse family and a mousey wife that took his hat every day after mouse work. It's the innocent ones you need to keep an eye on. What? We will start our testing with Whoa. D1492. <laughs> what was that? Okay. I do hope you'll leave all those childish thoughts out of our lab notes. Yes, ma'am. Um, Dr. Buck, can I ask you something? Mm, yes. Where did you guys come from? 
The site director claims it's top secret, but I caught a glimpse of the case file and it mentioned alternate dimensions. So that makes me think you're not from around here, but you seem to be fitting in just fine here. So clearly you have... It is top secret for a reason. Now we start tomorrow, try to stay Ooh. focused. Okay. Please outline the experiment for the record, Riley. The D-Class is tasked with handling SCP-3927 three times each day while no record player music is provided. The hope is that any additional anomalous effects will become apparent. Can you please pick up the rat? It looks more like a mouse, ma'am. Do as I say or we'll find a more agreeable D-Class for this experiment and you will go back to your holding cell. How do you feel? Fine. I guess I've got a small headache. Do y'all think we could get this record playing again? Yesterday you commented that it was a useless antique. Yeah, well, sitting in this room makes me feel like I need to be listening to something, you know? So, could we just spin that up? No. Uh, all right. And how are you feeling today, D1492? Uh, swell. Snowy and I are becoming fast friends. Did you just call it... Snowy? Yeah, he likes it. What the... Fascinating. Let's play Ratatouille Snowy is its name. Truly riveting. I don't feel any different. My back is kind of stiff, but that's it. Why do you flappers ask? Did you just call us... Flappers? Oh, uh, sorry. What's a flapper? A dancer from the 20s. The D-Class is clearly looking older. But he wasn't alive back then. It must be the mouse. All right, let's get this over with. I've got a few more wings to be had. What the? Why is the D-Class wearing that? D-1492? What are you wearing? Why, I sleep in a nightgown every night. It's not strange. I didn't say it was strange. Just like his memories, the SCP must be altering his wardrobe as well. How much more do you think it will affect the D-Class? Only one way to find out. Come on, Snowy. Get on up. <laughs> that tickles you, little miscreant. What did you call me? Day 15. D1492. It is your designation, or is it not? My name is Diana. Snow and I don't like your tone, young lady. Did he just say Diana? How old are you, Diana? 67. But as you can see, I don't look a day over 50. You know why? Phalem gum keeps your jaw strong and your skin tight. He's lost it. We should end the experiment. That is your call to make, Riley. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. That is not ladylike. The last test on him showed advanced lung deterioration. We need to stop. So be it. Testing was prematurely concluded when D1492 began to repeatedly feel unwell and developed symptoms of severe chronic illness. SCP-3927 was returned to its usual containment with its record player running continuously. Dang. crazy imagine that a mouse making you think that you're in the 1930s but um yeah if you like that video comment and like and subscribe and goodbye